Hey guys, it is Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire, and today I'm gonna throw some stuff out here in the garden, some some cold weather kind of stuff. I know it is early, uh, but I think we're we're past our freezing temperatures down here. We won't get any more freezing temperatures. Um, I'm not gonna put out as much stuff in the garden this year. I'm not gonna put out. I, I might put out some okra a little bit. <clears throat> um, but I've got so much froze from last year. I got so many peas from last year that we'll be eating them for another year. So I don't really need any of that. And those are the things that have grown best in my garden, that and peppers. But it's too, you know, the peppers I just cut off from last year. You just cut them off and they'll grow back up. So I got peppers out there already. They'll grow when they get ready to grow. Um, I have got, like I said, some cold weather kind of stuff here. Uh, I've got some uh, some lettuce. Let's see, what is this? Romaine. Yeah, I got some romaine lettuce. I've got some tomatoes that I'm going to put in uh, containers and have them out here because it's too early to have these tomatoes out. That way, I can kind of take them inside if I need to. I think this is some uh, broccoli, and it don't look all that great. Uh, here's some Brussels. Here's some more lettuce, and here's a different kind of lettuce right here. I think this is some kind of leaf lettuce or head lettuce, it says. So, it's not much stuff, but I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to see how it does. I tried to plant lettuce uh, for over the winter, and it didn't even, it wouldn't even germinate. Um, my collards that I put out here, they germinated. And, uh, you know, and I was watering them stuff for a while, but I finally just stopped because this is like what they're doing. They're not really, <clears throat> not really doing anything, you know, so maybe they'll start taking off here as the weather starts warming up. But uh, probably all I'm going to do is just over in this section right in here. But I know I'll end up putting out some squash and stuff. Um... Oh, I've got some onions too. I'll throw them out there, but to be honest, my onions are like squirrel attractant. That's all they are. I may stick them over there on that side away from everything else over here. Because those squirrels love those onions. But I'll see if I can... Maybe I can get something I can put around it or something to cover them up. I'll have some nights that will be in the 40s, but uh, that'll be about it. So... Let's, uh, let's do it. All right. Yeah, and all this soil right here is all real loose. And, I mean, I'm not going to have any problem digging it up or anything. So, let's see. Let's take the, uh, let's take this broccoli. I mean, it does not look all that fantastic. It does not at all. I'm going to space it out. Look at that root kind of space it out here a little bit and I will go ahead and tell you a lot of people you know I'll do a gardening video but I do garden videos just because I like to mess around out here I'm not really much of a gardener to be honest with you so if you got questions about how to do stuff Probably not the, uh, probably not the guy. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I'm not the guy. <laughs> it's not that I'm probably not the guy. I'm not the guy to ask. I like it. It's fun. Sometimes it works for me. Sometimes it don't. It's just kind of a little learning thing. Or, yeah, it's just a thing. I don't know how much I really even learned. I learned that I like to be out here. My grandparents, on my mother's side, they were real gardeners. <clears throat> I lived in a place that was a real gardening place. Up in North Alabama. Some of those areas up in there, man. Stuff grows like crazy. 
very fertile soil good temperatures just nice nice places for gardening I've got a pretty good bit of this if this comes out and lives I'm gonna have some broccoli never know till you try Tammy's sister that lives up in Cedar Town put out a bunch of broccoli and stuff last year but I'm gonna tell you what now up there in Collard Valley where they live shoot you can just put anything out up there you ain't gotta mess with it you ain't gotta baby it you ain't gotta take care of it it just grows up there now that's some good soil it's a good place to farm tell you that I don't know much but I know that if I was just gonna farm vegetable patch for a living I think that's where it'd be right, what we got here where is this guy if you're having to do too much to make it grow this ain't a good <laughs> you're either growing the wrong thing or you're just in a bad spot if you're having to baby it too much I know that much I don't know much but I know that much it ought to just grow it ought to just grow and I've done a lot I've put a lot of fertilizer and stuff in this dirt now I really have and actually I have a sneaking suspicion that the reason a lot of my stuff doesn't grow hadn't grown the way that I think it should is because I got too much fertilizer for some of these plants because some stuff I know takes a lot of fertilizer like you know they like a lot of fertilizer like peppers I know they like a lot of fertilizer so um, I'll stick that in there um, my peppers have done good and like I said, this is the right climate and stuff. You can see what I did with them. I just cut them. Just cut them off. And they should all come back. Alright. What else we got here? Brussels sprouts. I really like Brussels sprouts. I hope these, I hope these live. They do. I hope they do something. Yeah, me and Paul were out fishing yesterday. And I mean, out by the river out there, there was already trees starting to get their leaves and some flowers on them, some of the trees. I was like, are you kidding me? Already? I mean, it's February 20th. Yeah, there you go. That worked out just right. out just right most of the stuff that I have planted down here flowers vegetables whatever has died I get about a I get about a I don't know about a 50-50 success rate with any particular thing now my tomatoes did last year it did good last year now that I finally got this soil better they actually did all right hmm same thing here let's see if I can split it without killing it oh yeah worked out worked out for me fellas ladies All right. Now, that's everything I'm gonna put out here.
right guys i got it in the ground <sighs> that's a start anyway we'll see what we do this year oh, i mean like i said i have some success things uh i had so much success that i'm not even planting those things again this year so we'll just see what happens thanks for watching guys bye